guys, welcome to another edition. Well, not just another edition. Uh, welcome to um, the 4th of July edition of the Chingo Gringo Beer Review. Um, I have been off the scene, off the YouTube, Brewtube scene for a little while. Um, just uh, taking some time off to recollect our, uh, uh, my faculties and de-stress and all that stuff. But uh, I thought this day was as good as any to come back uh, with some good brew reviews again. So uh, just a shout out to all my uh, fellow Americans that are celebrating the 214th birthday of the United States of America and its independence from Great Britain. Um, happy 4th of July, guys. All right, so let's get right into this review. Um, just like the last review, you guys there uh, are going to see one perspective, and you guys over there are going to see another perspective, just like the last review. So, all right, we're changing things up here at Chingo Gringo Beer Reviews. Um, all right, well, enough said. Uh, I've babbled enough. Let's talk about the beer I have to review today, and uh, it is a goodie. Well, you guys may know, I don't know if I mentioned this in any review before, but I am a native Floridian. I was born and raised in the state of Florida. And uh, so, today's beer is very special for me because it's a Florida craft beer. So, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about none other than Florida Beer Company Swamp Ape Deepa. That stands for double IPA. All right, so it's a pretty cool, I think it's a pretty cool um, label. You can see it there. And so I'm excited to review this beer. I've had this beer uh, since I think last October and uh, it's been sitting in there. I know you guys are gonna freak out, you IPA lovers, <laughs> going to say that, dude, you gotta drink them faster than that. Yeah, it's true, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes. All right, well, let me tell you a little bit about the beer. Um, I found some information online, Beer Advocate, and um, elsewhere. Not so much on the, the Facebook or the main webpage of Florida Beer Company because their main webpage is under construction, unfortunately. But anyway, I did manage to find some information. This beer has a 10% ABV, alcohol by volume, but I was unable to find the level of IBUs, which I would have liked to know in advance to tell you guys. But anyway, um, more information about this beer. I do know the malts used are two row, two row uh, European two row, and um, a very unique malt, cherry smoked uh, malt as well in this beer. The hops uh, in this beer are um, Sorry guys, I got a little bit of brain fog today. So if I, I seem a little uh, distracted, that's why. Um, I got a lot of information up there. I'm, tr I'm processing it. Um, so the hop shoes are Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, and Tetanang. Ooh, I did good remembering those things. I have that sometimes disease. Sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. I suffer from that. All right, well, that's all about the beer. Um, one more thing, let me just read this very funny and interesting uh, thing. You can see here, I'll hold it up to the camera. Um, it says, let me move my hand a little bit. It says, what, what is a skunk ape? All right, so I'm gonna read that part because I think it's funny and add a little comical element to the beer review today. Um, First-hand accounts describe an intense beast with potent aroma and bite. Proof that the elusive mystery monster exists or proof that brewing with five distinct varieties of hops creates an unbelievable, uh, relentlessly hopped India Pale Ale. One taste and you'll know Swamp Ape is real. All right, it's about to get real with uh, the Swamp Ape Deepa Double IPA. All right, so um, before I pour this thing into a glass, I, I can't wait, my mouth is watering. Um, let me tell you about the brewery. Uh, Florida Beer Company was um, started 
uh, way back in 1996 um, as India um, India River Brewing Company um, and it does its business now uh, in the name of Florida Beer Company um, they started back in 1996 uh, there in Melbourne Florida and uh, they started with 11,000 square foot uh, location uh, brewery um, and then in 2014 they built their current brewery which is located in Cape Canaveral Florida uh, and that brewery is 60,000 square feet it houses their production facilities um, their packaging facilities um, uh, there's one more I can't remember maybe labeling um, it also has a tap room a gift shop and um, there's one more thing and I just can't remember what it is um, a visitor center that's it visitor center as well so if you're ever in the neighborhood of Cape Canaveral check out Florida Beer Company uh, take a tour through their brewery I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's really interesting all right well that's out of the way let's pour this beer into a glass and get started with this review all right I about poured it off camera can you believe it I pour that puppy on camera sure all right now I'm gonna pour this really slow because I'm with the glass I'm using IP is my IPA glass and as you can see it gets a lot of foam going on but I can only use my right hand I can't use my left hand uh, due to an accident I had a long time ago so I can only pour it like this so gotta pour this puppy Ooh, that is a full beer ladies and gentlemen all right so that is let me put it over here the swamp ape all right that is the swamp ape from uh, Florida Beer Company all right we'll let that chill out a little bit um, let me put the bottle over here so I'll turn it over and just give you an idea well now you know not many people pour a head like that if I could have avoided it I would have but uh, unfortunately I don't have two functioning hands um, Wow uh, I was expecting the aroma to be um, very subdued uh, because of the age of the beer um, being that I bought it last October at, at Total Wine and More in, in uh, Daytona Beach Florida but I have to say it still has quite a nice aroma um, definitely that that cascade uh, that citrusy uh, aroma from the cascade hops I can detect uh, that coming through and don't get me wrong those hops are subdued and uh, unfortunately I can't do anything about that but uh, so um, really nice uh, citrus fruit aroma a little bit of piney aroma in there as well um, and just a touch of uh, believe it or not look like a touch of dankness in there I'm not sure where that's coming from um, could be the combination of the hops or something like that um, all right well definitely has good head retention as you can see um, let me back like that hold it too close to the light good uh, a lot of glass lacing uh, well not really but can't really see because there's so much foam but I'll let that die down we'll check that later all right let's get right into the uh, tasting of the beer cheers guys happy fourth cheers America happy fourth <laughs> scared me <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife. She said happy fourth to all you guys uh, back home in America. All right. Well, wow. This beer is bitter. It is bitter. I like it. But, um, you know, be prepared if you buy this beer. Um, I, I, I think it's rocking. I, I would say it's rocking close to 100 IBUs there, just in my personal opinion. I'm not sure about the IPU I told you that earlier but however it is it packs a wallop in the IBUs um, and that is a really nice bitterness it's it's not uh, um, 
too much, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's really nice, nicely balanced with the, uh, the malt character of the beer. Um, I'm going to take one more sip. Yeah, you get this like um, a little, just a touch of sweetness from the malt uh, in the beer. And then, um, wow, those uh, hops hit, hit you like a, a sledgehammer uh, after that little touch of malt sweetness. But um, yeah, beautiful color, by the way, beautiful color. Let me hold it up here and uh, let me just put it over there. You guys can see it over there. And I uh, didn't mean to show you the top of my head, but I was looking at the other camera over there. All right, well, I think you can see it better in this in this camera here, so I'll, I'll keep it there. And uh, all right, nice carbonation level. You can see now uh, that it has a really um, tightly, uh, tightly packed bubbles in the head, um, just a fluffy, creamy, like meringue uh, head on it. Really lovely. Um, uh, not, not too much uh, glass lacing. Of course, uh, you know, in a beer like this, you know, that's not a big thing. Uh, with the, the darker beers, um, I like that. But, you know, a lighter beer, I don't care. Um, it just, it's just uh, one ex extra ex aesthetic feature uh, that uh, is nice to see on beers. But anyway, now, um, it, it does have some glass lacing, as you can see. But, okay, well, I think I'm ready to give my, well, hold on. You need three. You need at least three sips to um, confirm your uh, suspicions and your results. So that's what I always say. All right. Well, what am I going to give this beer? You guys know I, I give ratings of zero to ten uh, based on uh, certain categories, or sorry, certain characteristics of the beer. Um, you can find the uh, criteria of my zero to ten um, grading system down in the comments below the video. Okay, so uh, zero to ten, um, I'm going to give this beer a solid uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Um, probably, if this beer was fresh, I'd probably give it a nine. Uh, but in its state right now, no fault to uh, Florida Beer Company, in its state right now, this beer is a solid eight for me. All right. So what does that mean? It means I enjoyed it. Um, I will uh, recommend it to my friends and family, and uh, I would go out and buy this beer again and enjoy it again. So it's a really good beer. All right, well, that's going to be it for um, uh, the Florida Beer Company's uh, Swamp Ape Double IPA, and that's it for this edition, a little bit lengthy edition of the Chingo Gringo Beer Review. Till next time. Uh, you guys know what I always say, keep pouring them up, keep drinking them down. Cheers, guys.